Hello students, welcome to Reader's Workshop. We have been reading a bunch of gingerbread stories and I asked you to pay attention to a few different things. I asked you to always be thinking, what is the story mostly about? What's the main idea? I asked you to think about what's the lesson or moral of the story. So these are big ideas. These are looking at the whole book and thinking, what's it mostly about? What's the lesson we're supposed to learn? But then yesterday, I asked you to start thinking and remembering all the books, all the gingerbread stories we read, and start to compare and contrast them in your mind. Start to think about what's the same in all the books and what are some things that are different, right? Because they have different settings. They have different characters, but some things are the same, okay? I want you to keep that in mind because after today's book, we'll be talking a lot more together in our meeting about this. And today's book is super special, one of my favorites. It's called The Runaway Piggy, El Cochinito Fugitivo. I'll be reading it in English, but it does have both English and Spanish. It's a bilingual, that means two, language, two languages in the book by James Luna, illustrations by Laura La Camara. And on the cover, I can see a little, it looks like a gingerbread piggy cookie running away from a woman who's peeking out of a window, like the shop, of the window of a shop. And on the sign it says, Mama Beauty, ooh, I think that might be Beauty Salon. And look, the piggy is running down the street. If we look at the back, I see someone's chasing him. Maybe a mechanic, because he has a wrench. Ooh, maybe a baker, because she has a baker's hat on. And I can see this takes place in a town, right? Okay, here we go. The Runaway Piggy. Ooh, on the dedication page, there's lots of yummy cookies and kind of Hispanic baked yummy goods, right? Here we go. Okay, so if I sneak peek the first page, I can see it's happening in a bakery, and there's that piggy jumping off the pan. The morning sun shone through the windows of Marta's panaderia onto the shelves of fresh bread. Conchas, orejas, cuernos, and empanadas, warm and fresh, waited for hungry customers. Wow, that's making me hungry. <laughs> Marta went to her oven to get the last batch of bread for the day. Piggy cookies. She pulled the tray out of the oven and checked the piggies. Brown and soft, the cochinitos looked perfect. As Marta put the tray down to cool, one piggy jumped off the counter and onto the floor. She looks surprised, doesn't she? Right? Eyes wide open, mouth open. Oh, I think she's telling him to get back on the tray, and he doesn't look very happy. Marta pointed to the tray and scolded the piggy. Get back up there with your brothers. The piggy shook his stubby brown tail and sang, Chase me, chase me down the street. This is one piggy you won't get to eat. Oh, so he has his own chant. You want to try that? Chase me, chase me down the street. This is one piggy you won't get to eat. And there he goes. Piggy ran out of the bakery and down the sidewalk with Marta following behind. When he passed Lorenzo's auto shop, Lorenzo called. Careful, Piggy, what's the rush? I have some coffee that you'd love. Piggy shook his stubby brown tail and sang, Chase me, chase me down the street. But this is one piggy you won't get to eat. I ran away from Marta and I'll run away from you. Ooh, I gotta stop and think. That was funny. So the mechanic Lorenzo was saying he had some coffee for the piggy, but I don't think it was for the piggy to drink. I'm thinking that most grown-ups would enjoy some coffee with their cookie. <laughs> I think he wants to keep the piggy with the coffee. Okay, oh, and there they're all racing down the street. Oh, and this is the picture from the cover and the back, right? The runaway piggy. Here we go, running down the street. Oh, and this says Mama Nita's Beauty Salon. Oh, here we can see inside. There's people getting their hair done. Ooh, there's some more coffee. <laughs> 
Here we go. Piggy ran through the auto shop and under the old cars with Lorenzo and Marta chasing him. He ran and ran until he got to Mama Nita's beauty salon. Wait, Piggy, Mama Nita said. If you come in, I can disguise you so no one will find you. So disguise means to make you look different, right? But Piggy saw the coffee Mama Nita was brewing. He laughed, shook his stubby brown tail and sang, chase me, chase me down the street. But this is one Piggy you won't get to eat. I ran away from Marta and Lorenzo and I'll run away from you. <laughs> Ooh, who's next? Oh, what is that? Some kind of repair guy, maybe? Let's see. And he's got like a lunchbox there. <laughs> Piggy jumped on each chair of the salon and ran out with Mama Nita, Lorenzo, and Marta following him. At the corner, Piggy saw Joaquin, the telephone repairman, by his truck. Slow down, Piggy. Why don't you hide here? Joaquin said, opening his lunchbox. Piggy shook his stubby brown tail and sang, Chase me, chase me down the street. You should join in when I say that. Chase me, chase me down the street. But this is one piggy you won't get to eat. I ran away from Marta, Lorenzo, and Mama Nita, and I'll run away from you. There he goes. Oh, I think next he's going to run into a street musician. Or maybe, oh, maybe it's the owner of the music shop. Piggy kicked Joaquin's lunchbox into the street and ran away with Joaquin, Mama Nita, Lorenzo, and Marta chasing him. Ernie was sitting outside his music store playing his guitar when Piggy ran up. Hey, Piggy, want to hear a song? Ernie asked. Piggy laughed, shook his stubby brown tail, and sang, Chase me, chase me down the street, but this is one piggy you won't get to eat. I ran away from Marta, Lorenzo, Mama Nita, and Joaquin, and I'll run away from you. There he goes. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Who could he meet? I don't think there's going to be a fox in the town, you know? Oh, and there's the flower shop. Piggy turned the corner and ran between two large buckets filled with carnations. Piggy, Letty called, come hide in my flower shop behind the roses. Piggy wrinkled his nose, shook his stubby brown tail, and sang, Chase me, chase me down the street, but this is one piggy you won't get to eat. I ran away from Marta, Lorenzo, Joaquin, and Ernie, and I'll run away from you. Oh my gosh. Look, and he's putting the flower in his mouth, and he's, like, shaking and dancing. <laughs> he's really bragging. Uh-oh. Oh, a city bus pulled up next to Piggy. Isabel, the driver, opened the door. Get in, Piggy. I'll take you anywhere. No charge. Piggy saw the coffee mug in the cup holder. What? There's a detail. Look at that. There's a coffee mug in the bus driver's cup holder. Uh-oh. Stay away from coffee, you piggy cookie, you. Okay, he saw the coffee mug. He shook his stubby brown tail and sang, Chase me, chase me down the street, but this is one piggy you won't get to eat. I've run away from the others, and I'll run away from you, too. Oh, who does he get? Oh, wow, to like a, a some kind of store. There's a desk on the street. Piggy turned another corner and bumped into an old desk in the middle of the sidewalk. Juana was getting her thrift store ready for the day. Oh, a thrift store. That's like Goodwill, right? That's like the Goodwill. Why are you running, Piggy? Juana asked. Then she saw the crowd and nodded. Hey, why not stop here? No one will see you in this old teapot. She lifted the lid. Piggy saw the steam rise and laughed. Oh, the teapot has steam rising, just like our song. He laughed. Chase me, chase me down the street. But this is one cookie you won't get to eat. I ran away from the others, and I'll run away from you. So cookies should also stay away from tea, because you can have tea and coffee with your cookie, right? Oh, look, maybe the little girl's going to rescue him. Look, there's a little girl with a backpack. Piggy turned another corner with the whole neighborhood chasing him. Piggy got to the last corner of the street. 
His only hope was to cross, but he was afraid of the cars. A little girl named Rosa walked up and asked, Where are you going, Piggy? I got away from Marta. I got away from Lorenzo and Mamanita. I got away from Joaquin and Ernie. I got away from Leti, Isabel, and Juana, and I can get away from you. <laughs> Said Piggy out of breath. I'm not chasing you. I'm just crossing the street to go to school. You know how to cross the street? Piggy asked. Can you teach me how? Oh, so maybe she's going to help him cross the street and he'll be safe. Rosa smiled at Piggy and said, Oh, you're too small. The cars might hit you. You better let me carry you. You're lying. You just want to eat me, Piggy said. Rosa crossed her arms. I never lie, but I don't care if you don't believe me. I have to cross or else I'm going to be late for school. The light turned green and Rosa took a step off the sidewalk. Piggy looked back and saw everyone coming after him. Wait, he called. Please carry me across. Aye, I better not be late, Rosa scolded as she returned to pick up Piggy. Come on, jump in my backpack or they're going to see you. Okay, so she jumped. he jumped in her backpack. Piggy laughed inside the backpack. Ha, I knew they were too slow. They didn't catch me. He relaxed and fell asleep after his long run. Piggy woke up when Rosa opened her backpack. He heard her talking. Hmm. Sorry I'm late, Miss Carranza, Rosa said. I brought you a fresh piggy cookie from my mom's bakery. What? Oh, look what happened to... The little piggy. Oh, uh, he's in the little napkin and a present for the teacher. So this must be Marta, the baker's daughter, right? Because she says, I brought you a fresh, a fresh piggy cookie from my mom's bakery. Ay, goodness gracious. Oh, and here at the end, we have a piggy cookie recipe. That's a how-to for how to make cookies. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite gingerbread stories. That piggy really got around town. You know, we got to do something. And I want to think back, all the different people, all the different people he visited. And you know what I like? It kind of shows you what different kinds of people and workers and shops you would find in a regular neighborhood, right? By the end, he was being chased by, he'd been to the bake, he, he escaped from the bakery. He met the mechanic. He met the beauty shop lady. He met the telephone repairman, the musician, the thrift sh uh, the the florist that's where they sell flowers the thrift shop owner and i think that's it i think that's it is that all of them well if i forgot one maybe you'll tell me in a minute cuz we're going to be talking about this and i want you to think what is the same and what is different from all the other gingerbread stories we've been reading see you in a minute <laughs>